Our university has a practice of introducing level 4 to level 6 by them helping us with our degree collections and when we were level 4 we were also helping the graduates with their collections by doing any task they asked us to. So during this vlog I was actually filming everything they were helping us with and then everything we were working on as well. To be quite honest we did not feel ready for them to come and help us because we didn't think we had enough stuff for them to work on but as it turned out by the end we were actually quite happy that they came at the right time because it gave us kind of a push and we had to increase the speed that we we're working on so it was great these are my new prints i had to blow up a couple of those so those were my distorted line of prints this was one of the first experiments which i did i think beginning of uh, september or in the end of august when i was at home and this i scanned when i was at home those are all of the passports that my family have collected and i'm going to be trying to recreate a similar thing that i did here with that tool because during the lineup, uh, my tutor suggested that I try and make the giant puffy shirt sleeve, sleeves, which I tried to present out of that print. Because I'm trying to recreate this sketch in here, and I'm trying to find different ways of making it because the one I first tried was not as successful. I'm probably going to be breaking those in with strips of leather, which I have recycled, and I'm trying this technique out in here. The prints did not turn out quite great honestly. I knew that they would be less vibrant than if I were to transfer them to a synthetic fabric because I was using cotton and I've tried multiple different samples with it but the previous ones worked much better than the ones I've tried now so I don't think I'm going to be using them at all. These are the pocket bags for the skirt that I'm trying to make out of the leather that I found in my locker. So I love this test the most because I had overlay of two pieces of general leather and had a bigger pressure point in this area than both of those it left an uneven mark and I love it because the idea of that print is that you are like your stuff your belongings are scanned in the airport and this is kind of visible mark of that as if a passport is inside and then a bunch of paper clips and this is a bit fainter version of that previous one <laughs> By the way, this is Lisa. She's my level four helper. So thank you so much for doing this. Those are all the guys also. We have, most of us have one helper, but Lisa is very fortunate to have two. I have two and the Marsh also has two. So we're lucky enough to get that. That's one and a half. One and a half, well, but she <laughs> she turned up multiple times, so it's already a win, I counted us two. Lisa was testing how the stitching was working on the sewing machine because the threads are quite thick and then the regular needles not really made for them, so she tested out. It was not quite successful because the threads kept running out from the bottom bobbin, but what I do like is that this looks quite raw and if I stretch it out, it looks pretty interesting on the body. So maybe I could use it on a different look because look number four and five and not yet resolved. So I could play around with it on the body and still introduce that idea of a pattern, which I've tested out on three different occasions and it not worked out. <laughs> Inspiring. Let's hope it doesn't say you have a terrible collection. Да, Алиса снимает видео. Окей. Перфекто, да? Саша, как ты работаешь для Алисы? Нормально. Алиса? Алиса – лучшая. Ты работаешь, Саша? Да, конечно. Я помогаю для Мерседес-Бенс. Ей! Good team. It's better that I have a lot of stuff to do than nothing. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to a tutorial? Yes, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, you haven't had it for a while. Yes, for the week. Yeah. Mm. Have your sketchbook. Yes. Actually, do you need to do anything like from the beginning? What do you mean? 
I think the final one. Or you have oh one. final yeah, I'm making my final pleated trousers. Then I can make my final abstract trousers, but first I said I should focus on a different look because I know exactly what the final trousers mm -hmm. are going to look like. Yeah. So there's no point wasting time on them. Блин, идеально подходит просто. А тебе очень нравится твой костюмчик? Ты знаешь, как бы да. Fashion, wow. <laughs> Every time Masha makes something, a model has to be a gymnast to get inside of it. Страдай красиво, Маш. I really hope you can find it because it, this fabric would obviously look really cool in the garment that you're wearing right now. Oh yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks. You remember crazy frogs? I'm testing out a different top. Lisa is kindly cutting out my piece of the fabric so that we can match them as a patchwork and test it out as an actual shirt top because with this look I'm assuming it's going to be also in red leather we'll see how that goes because that is in patchwork essentially but I've tested out different pieces of fabric when I was cutting out a black leather coat this one is a red one I have the alternative hanging somewhere else but this one is also going to be used somewhere perhaps in this look I'm assuming and here's the footage of me struggling to seam rip the entire lining of that leather jacket which Lola got me from Evita. It was I think 700 rubles so it was quite cheap for the amount of leather I actually got. And it is recycled, yay! On Monday, the day after tomorrow, I'm expected to have this piece which was a jacket. I am trying to deconstruct it and flatten it so that I could top stitch the seams and then cut my patterns for the skirt out of. And I'm expected to kind of have it done by Monday which I don't think is that sustainable but I'm trying to do my best at stitching all the seams correctly to each side and then have it um, a flat piece. I don't think I'm gonna manage that but at least I'll try to pin it and have it look like it. This is a denim machine with a walking foot. I had to switch to this one because our regular sewing machine's bobbin was not accepting the thick threads that I was using on it so I had to try the walking foot attachment which I usually hate but now I am kind of accustomed to it and the machine and I are friends. And this is my best friend, this is a bias foot on a regular sewing machine and I love it absolutely the most because it's so easy, it's no hassle to finish anything with a beautiful bias binding and I was finishing my first final trousers in here. Мочишь паттерны и болото устроишь черемухи. Глаза не попадают. Вау! Ничего себе! Грейс, это вот ее презент. Я страдаю. Хохма? Давай, где хохма? В чем хохма? Это хохма. В чем хохма? В чем была хохма? Девочки, поднимите руку, кто же пятошница? The days are getting super short and it's Saturday and Dania, Masha, Anna, 
Lisa home, always came. Basically, most of the group is here on Saturdays now, and I'm getting kind of stressed and worried. I do already have trouble waking up on time because my body's so stressed out, it just wants to sleep a bit longer. So, I am assuming that I'm not going to be adding any extracurricular activities to myself because I actually signed up for like another volleyball tournament tomorrow, but I cancelled it because I can't just go. I think I'm going to be exhausting myself if I decide to still partake in it. So, I had to kind of cancel last minute. I did it yesterday actually, so I think they found him replacement, hopefully at least. So, I don't know, I'm just slowly going crazy, which is kind of evident from how I look at this point. Some pizza for us and our level 4 helpers, although it's not that many of us today. Masha's helper is trying her best in the fucking felting machine, so it's kind of difficult to function at this point. And Anna is here as always. This type of thing is everything my level 4 helper was able to help me with and it was so so great because this lino cut thing I had to remake and I asked her to do that and thankfully she had done lino before so she was very helpful with making this and it took I think 3 days to make so it cost me a lot of saved time and effort. Then I also had to make like a patchwork of that leather, fake leather which I had lying around so I did not have enough fabric to make this as a final piece so I asked her to make a patchwork out of it and it was very great. Also the same for the collar and I think it looks really cool. I did the top stitching on it, the denim machine and also she was very neat and precise and it looks really cool, I like it. I asked her to do some genuine leather finishings as well because I well wanted to see some creative direction to maybe take my finishings later on into because now they're quite simple and straightforward, just like a stitching uh, to each side of the, the seam itself. Then she did this giant, perfect, gorgeous shoulder pad made of recycled fabric which we collected in the studio and also I had to clothing donated to me so she was cutting those up precisely and then stitching them and I love how layered they are and how distressed they are so they're kind of correlating with uh, one of the looks which I'm working on right now and then also I printed the passport scans which I had done like in September I think even before we started the project and I asked her to interrupt it with pieces of fabric with strips of raw fabric and then finished ones as well and then I made a sleeve out of it and kind of extensions from it for looks number six and I think it kind of is getting together. I'm supposed to finish this leather top today. I've already creased the white final shirt as well and this is going to be kind of an extension of the previous idea but in a leather material because I'm working on a leather skirt which I'm supposed to also finish by Monday. I don't think it's very attainable. Our tutor decided to move our lineup which would usually be on Wednesday to Monday so that our other tutor Pamela could join and it was such a lucky moment honestly because later on in that evening we got news about the fact that our school is getting closed for two weeks for quarantine because of coronavirus. Our second to last lineup aftermath, and this is just my shit. Very neat of me, isn't it? You happy? See you on the other no, side! No, we're university for two weeks because of corona. Happy fixes! Hushing <laughs> <laughs> soon! <laughs> You've got the most of work to do, actually. You have the felting machine at home, so you should not even be sad, Anna. Are you <laughs> not happy? You know, actually, I have seen in the morning this meme about like COVID and collections from Antwerp. Oh, yeah, and no. I was thinking, oh, that's great that we are not closed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, uh, we are going to yes. have like. So we're having a full day of lineups, everything was great, everyone's getting great feedback, so we had uh, a great plan to work on, and then at the end of the lineup, when I was the last person to finish, we were told that our school is getting closed for uh, another two weeks because of coronavirus. We are expecting to come back within the next couple of weeks, but it might be postponed, it might be pushed, which means that our exhibition is pushed, being pushed, which means that our deadlines are pushed, which should sound as a good thing, but it is not because um, textile shops are probably closed. What else is probably closed at least? Everything is probably closed, right? <laughs> And it, it is fine for some people who can work at home. For example, Masha is taking that she has a professional sewing machine at home, which is great. Even though she's working with Jazzy, I think she can work with it because she's using some other materials as well. But then for others, we only have fucking terrible domestic machines, which are impossible to work on after you switch to a professional one. So just get ready for Rona fashion vlogs, which I'm going to be shooting from every one of our group who can submit videos. And Masha, for example, she was like, oh no, Corona, nothing is going to work. Mm, sure, she has a felting machine. 
finishing at home and she has a giant textile to finish so she's gonna be happy Mila also has a giant fur coat to make herself uh, out of strips of fabric so you should be very happy about the extension because you're essentially but you're not filming me <laughs> you're filming something I am filming you what do you mean? <laughs> yeah I'm pretty happy actually <laughs> because I will uh, I don't know my fur coat and you will be sitting and sucking <laughs> I'll be sitting at home I'll be working on Terrible domestic machine and Mila is gonna essentially have a two-week extension on the freaking fur coat So you're happy, Masha is happy, another Masha is probably also happy and all the rest of us are very sad After getting that devastating news, we're kind of down and we decided to make light of the situation and just celebrate the last day that we have together So we drank a bottle of champagne which Elisa brought and we also ordered way too much pizza so we had plenty and the next day on Tuesday when we came back to get the rest of our shit to take it back home because this quarantine will probably take more than two weeks and we we're obviously hoping for it to get just the minimal amount and then for us to get back to university and postpone everything as little as possible but I think that's going to be realistic so we brought everything everything we brought is necessary to university now we brought back home